Wix drop down menu tutorial. Create a drop down menu on Wix. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how you can create a drop down menu on your Wix website. So, this is our website currently. Let's say I want to, you know, add a drop down menu over here. It can easily be added using Wix's native website editor, and I will show you guys exactly how. So, the first thing you want to do is log on to your Wix account. Once you have logged on to your Wix account, you have all of your websites, whatever website you want to create a drop down menu for, you just want to click on edit site over here and you just want to open up the Wix website editor, not your website dashboard. You want to open up the website editor. So this is what your website editor is going to look like. Now, once you have opened up your website editor, you'll be able to see your website and you can just go on ahead and click on your horizontal menu and then click on manage menu. Now this will automatically open up uh, the menu site from the left side of your screen. If you don't know how to do that, if it's a bit difficult for you to you know, find your menu header, so you can just click on pages and menus on the left side of your screen, and this will also open up your site menu. Now you guys can see we have our menu over here. Let's say I want to create a drop down menu and I want to include, you know, the blog names in the blog section. So for that, all you have to do is click on add page on the bottom and you can click on blank page or you can click on blog and you can click on see your blog pages. And then you have, you know, all of your posts over here like this. And you can go on ahead and create a separate page for that. So for that, you have to click on add page, add blank. And then you can name this whatever your blog name is. So let's say I wrote a blog about Cafe 99 or Cafe 09. And then I will simply go on ahead, click on done. And I would link the blog over here or insert the blog over here. To do that, all you have to do is click on add element and you are going to click on blog. And then you're going to go on ahead and enter that specific blog. So you have recent posts, you have category menu, and you just want to insert the specific blog from there. Now, what you're going to do is then you're going to go back into your pages and menus. And I want this to be a uh, drop down of the blog section. So for that, all you have to do is select it from the top left over here. You guys can see these six dots selected, place it right below blog and then move it a little towards the right. Once you move it to the right, you will be able to see it will be listed as a sub page. Now, in this way, you can create uh, drop down menus for any of your specific sections. So you can go on ahead and add those pages. You can do that for any kind of page. Uh, if you have to create this for a different kind of page, let's take another example. Let's say we have shopping pages or e-commerce stores. So you can click on edit site over here on this one. And we have our Wix website editor open now. And this is what our you know, section is looking like. And we are just going to take a couple of seconds to open up our Wix website editor. Now, once you have that, all you have to do is click on pages and menus, click on add page. We're going to, let's say in a drop down, I want to create uh, some sections about uh, Instagram and I want it to be in the contact section. So I'm going to add it as a contact, click on add page and I can add more sub menus or sub pages like so. And after that, all I have to do is click on publish or save. And then once I have completed that, I can click on view page over here to see the changes that I have made to my site. So uh, currently I think I'm having some bug. It's not showing up as it should. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go back into my website editor and you can click on manage menus. You have your menus added and you want it to appear in the main section. So once you've added, you know, your content or whatever it might be, you can click on the settings of your menu and you can click on set as advanced. And then you have your add menu item, site pages, and then you want to select the site pages that you just created and you're going to insert them as they are. So you can go on ahead, click on move under contact, and then we're going to place this down below as well. And then I'm also going to move this under contact. And now I can click on publish over here. And we're going to recheck it on our Wix website. So make sure you are, you know, rechecking it if it's appearing on your Wix website as you want it to. 
So once you have your menu ready, we can click on the layout and design. So we're just going to save it as it is. Click on publish now, like so. We're gonna go into our home page and then edit our menu on our home page as well, like this. And just like that, I've added, you know, the rest of the menu items. Click on save and publish. And that is how simple and easy it is to get started with creating drop down menus on wix you definitely can see our items are now present like this and you can choose to uh, design it with arrows as well if you want to add those that is totally like a design thing if you want to do that you can click on the design elements and you can click on the customized design and start adding you know more design elements to that now the best part about using wix it is such a powerful website editor this is just a very basic example of what you can do with wix you have a lot more that you can do you can create specific menu anchors you can create page anchors so the drop down could lead to a certain part of the page instead of uh, leading to a different page and the best part about this is that Wix is available for free. Now, although you can use Wix for free, to start accepting payments, you do have to upgrade to one of their premium versions. Currently, they do have a discount running and you can get started for only $17 a month with their business and e-commerce plan to enable yourself to accept payments if you want to do that. But you can use the basic website creator or editor for free without any hassles and you can create gorgeous and amazing websites within a couple of minutes so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with creating your own drop down menus on wix make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video